and have some energy out here. I try to pull a little energy to see what the reading is going to start with. And we have take time for a nap. Okay. This was funny. I laughed when this all came out. Because I, at first I was like, no, nah, that ain't what it is. I don't want to believe that. <laughs> and then I looked on the bottom of the deck and I was like, dang, that's what it is. That's exactly what it is. So I got to be real with you guys. Okay. The next card that came out was co-create. The number 40, the number 24 is here with time for a nap. And then the last card that came out in the pre-shuffle was Angel of Love in Reverse, which is the number 49. So when this energy came out, I was like, you know, man, time to take a break. You know, maybe you guys are tired or you're about to come up on, you know, a time of rest, rejuvenation, just taking a break. You may be thinking about taking a vacation or you may be feeling like this, right? Like you want to just take a break. Things could be slow for you. I also feel like with this energy, things are slow for you for my single people when it comes to love like there's no love interest right here or you've been looking for love you've been trying to manifest love because co-create is here <laughs> it's like spirit is saying take a break from trying to manifest your perfect person they're coming they're coming you already manifested it y you know it's like you did enough but I feel like you're not satisfied and you're kind of like man where is it I, I give up some of you guys just really give up you have experienced a lot of stress and anxiety over this situation, you know? Financial constraints is here under the deck, and I don't even feel like this is about financial constraints. I feel like this is in the mind. This is in the mind, um, because underneath that is the energy of image, okay? To me, this is like in the mind, you're stressing about five of pentacles energy. It's like, man, you in this... Thinking, thinking, overthinking, what's happening? I, where did my manifestation go? Is my person coming? And male or female, divine masculine or divine feminine here, you know, you're looking for some changes. And here's the deal with that for all my single people, because I feel like I'm speaking to somebody here who is like not really dating seriously right now. You could like have a couple prospects or whatnot, but I feel like I'm talking to somebody who's like not dating very seriously or you're like not doing any dating at all or you've tried and tried and it just hasn't turned out where you expected what you feel like you deserve. Because I feel like you guys have done everything that you can to change your perspective, for, to use your intuition here and trust that what you see is real. You, you're you using your intuition for new people coming towards you or whoever it is that you're seeing, being introduced to, spending time with whatever this, whoever these people are, they were wearing masks. They were not showing their true selves. They were, you know, when people date, they show their representative, you know what I mean? And that happens kind of naturally, honestly, but... Over time, you know, you're like, man, this is not, this is not the person for me. I got to change this. For some of y'all, spirit is saying, hey, you could be blocking it just by being in this anxiety. So make sure you're changing your negative thought patterns. Try to detach from it, honestly, because spirit is telling you time for a nap. You've already manifested this. So with the golden distance energy here, I feel like you guys have been, it's been a long road. Because that's what this is about. Like, it's not a race, okay? It's not a rat race. There is no... The only people who created time was man, right? Like, time doesn't really even exist, you know, for some of my people who are into cons conspiracy theories and things of that nature. But does time really exist? You know, like, feeling like if you're co coming of some certain age that you would have done something by now or, you know, been married or remarried for those of you who want to do that, right? There is balance coming in. Your good karma is coming in here. It's coming. Your four of wands is coming in, whether you believe it. Yeah, look at this. Thank you, spirit. <laughs> New life is here. New life. And then we have community, New life and community. Some of you all may be moving to a new community. Community. Maybe you have just recently moved to a new community. You know, you. If you haven't, you will be. Some of you have already kind of like, like I said, you're doing something different. You're doing things different. But you're like, that's not working. What's taking so dang on long? <laughs> okay. 
you already manifested. You can lighten up a little bit and detach from it and just go have fun, especially while you're out here single, live your best life. So let's pull some more energy and see what's going on, okay? Ooh. All right. Oh, yeah. Whatever's coming towards you, Spirit is saying, say yes. So there is something coming towards you that is meant to be. It's meant to be. Okay. So you don't have to worry and be in this Eight of Swords energy. Yeah, because you deserve the world. Spirit is saying, hey, man. <laughs> not, not. Listen, collective. That's that's you. That's what they. That's what they're saying. Pretty loud and clear. This is. I feel like this is a message of encouragement. Honestly, I love this. Yeah, <laughs> this is a message of encouragement to you. It says you are so special. You're one of a kind. Stop being in your head. You are the exception. You know, there is no one like you. What you bring to the table and what you offer, honey, is everything. I just want you to know it is everything. You're perfect just the way that you are, okay? I don't care if the people in the past didn't see that, okay? That's on them. That is on them, okay? Some of y'all were dealing with people who had you in third-party situations. They were seeing somebody the whole time, you know? But that's okay, you, you pulled your energy back. And now it's time for you to conserve your energy just for you. Okay? Just for you. Ooh, okay. So something significant here. The, the cars just jumped out at me. Something significant here. We have 30 days. It's getting ready to take place in 30 days here. They, didn't I say you need a vacation? And look what came out. <laughs> um, need a break, vacation, rest, healing, help, team. So you, relocation came out. Oh my gosh. New, new phase, new life, refreshing. I'm telling you, whatever it is that you're worried about, please give those words away because honey, some of y'all are getting ready to go travel somewhere and just rest and have a good time. That's exactly what you should do. Conserve your energy for you and not for anybody else who's playing games that wants to put you in a third party and lie and cheat and wear a mask. They look great on the outside, but when you peel back the layers of the onion, it's just, it's rotten. You know what I mean? That's okay. Use your intuition, move on. And I feel like you did, but you're like, dang, okay, what happens next? You know, so make sure you're you're spending some time with yourself to recuperate and recharge your own batteries here. So now is the time for you to focus on. I believe you guys are in a phase of life where you're like, hey, new year, new me, which is, you know, the energy typically you should be in at a new year. Right. New year, new you, new life everything around you there is joy in everything whether you see it or not but i if you're you know you get an opportunity in the next 30 days of travel and go somewhere and have a good time please go do it please go do it okay do something nice for yourself you might even be meeting somebody in 30 days i don't know i mean <laughs> something great is coming in it's it's the start of a new beginning which is full energy so let's see let me shuffle will be modern witch tarot deck and see what comes out for you look at that three of cups and the emperor definitely community definitely a reason to celebrate definitely happy definitely new changes growth expansion right maybe even traveling because three of wands is the traveling card it's the card of maybe going on a vacation, planning your future, relocating and moving. Yeah, but it's good energy. The emperor is like taking your control back, right? Could be meeting an emperor when you're having fun, enjoying life and detaching from it and not worried about when, when, when. Oh, man. This two of swords came out. So there you go in this you know, energy of stalemate energy. I feel like queen of cups, queen of cups. Okay. Yeah. But see, you're feeling like the, you're showing up in the upright, which is good. This, which still tells me you make great decisions here. You're just sometimes, you know, you may um feel, not feel like yourself here with this angel of love in reverse, which is very similar to the queen of cups. <laughs> I just feel like you don't see this. You don't see what's coming. 
Yeah, three of wands. It's coming. Okay, this is the future. Yeah, your ship is coming in. You feel like it's so far off. It's so far out. But you know it's coming, but you're just like having anxiety over it. Maybe because it's, the emperor came right back out. Thank you, spirit. I love you, spirits. Aries could be an Aries. You don't know. I don't know. You got your back turned to this, though. This emperor is, you know, I don't. You're getting ready to travel somewhere. Six of Swords just wanted to come out. Show me more here. Oh, that's too many spirit. Please get out of your head and stop being confused about something. Because I just saw eight of was that the eight of swords and the seven of cups. Show me more here. Death card. Something trains a transition. Something's over here. Let me see what this is about here. This death card. Scorpio energy. We do have the queen of cups here. So somebody could be a Scorpio. Somebody could be a fire sign. They don't have to be somebody's ending something here. You got a masculine here who is in some Ten of Swords energy. There is an ending here. The, the Death card is already out here. The Ten of Swords is here and the Ten of Pentacles is here. There's a masculine here who's moving on. They just had to separate from a family situation. Maybe somebody they were married to or someone they have children with, someone that they... Um, there was a betrayal in this for sure, but it's over. It's over. Eight of Swords on the bottom of the deck. Remember, energies and roles can be reversed, okay? But I feel like now we're talking about a masculine. Because I feel like you don't see this. You're not paying attention to it. Your back is turned to it. This may not even involve you. Okay? Page of Swords. Okay, that's some sort of information. Um, investigation and gossip could be four of pentacles, nine of pentacles. Let me get some more energy out here, please. Ooh, ooh, justice card. We talked about that justice, right? Libra energy. King of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Six of Cups. Let me get one more. That Seven of Cups wanted to come back out. And the Ten of Wands. See, the burden is the confusion. The burden is the choice or the option. If somebody's like really, really confused about whatever this burden is here. I think it's a masculine here. There's a masculine here. <laughs> I don't know if this is you. I really don't think this is you. Um, Let me clarify something here. What's this page of swords energy there? Why is this page of swords energy here? The sun. So something was revealed here. Somebody got some information. Something was revealed. Some Something was communicated. Something came to light, which was the reason why this ten of swords and this ending happened with this masculine, okay? Situation could have something to do with money. Someone here could have recently got a divorce, like I said. Uh, they could be getting a divorce. Um, clarify, I feel like this person is definitely about to be single, um, or they already are. Why is the four of pentacles here? Queen of swords. Hmm. Why is the four of pentacles here with the queen of swords? The world. This is you. Okay. The magician and the wheel of fortune. This is you moving on. This is you manifesting your new beginning, right? Your new phase, your new life. This is good luck, good karma. This is what you got coming in and you just don't know it. Um, <laughs> interesting. You got your back turned to whatever this is that's revealed. Either you don't know about it or it's none of your concern or it has nothing to do with you. Page of Cups, new love. Page of Pentacles, an offer. Some of y'all, this could be somebody from the past that you know that played games. They were in some devil energy. I don't, you know, maybe somebody said something really hurtful to you. Now they're in regret over it. But you don't want to talk to this person. You may even have this person blocked because they just played a lot of games. Okay. 
So show me this justice card, please. Gemini energy here with the magician. You could be a, an air sign. Of course, it could be a Leo. Um, Scorpio, Taurus, or Aquarius, or Leo. Why is the justice card here? Page of Pentacles. Yeah, that justice is, I'm sorry, that's the Knight of Pentacles. This is slow. This was slow coming, like I said. This was slow to arrive. Which is why you're like a little bit like, dang, where is the train? Where is the train? Is the train coming? Did they cancel it? Is it was my flight canceled? And somebody didn't tell me. It, it it's like it's giving spirit airlines. You know what I'm saying, you guys? Like the the flight was delayed and they didn't tell y'all, and that was 30 minutes ago. And you're like, excuse me, ma'am, is the flight delayed or not? <laughs> Just been waiting forever for this offer. <laughs> That's so funny. Show me the King of Pentacles energy. For those of you dealing with this King of Pentacles, this could be somebody from the past that's in their head and Nine of Swords energy. They can't stop thinking about you and getting, they miss you. Six of Cups is already here. Missing you, the, is much, this person thinks about you so much that it's a burden. I feel like this person could be even dreaming about you so much to the point where it's like overwhelming, okay? Especially with this Nine of Swords being here with this Five of Cups, all right? So this is what a masculine that you know is going through them dreaming about you thinking about you in the six of cups energy honey they're really struggling they're really struggling here yeah but you you know you've got something a little bit different going on right all right so what what is this masculine's and next intentions towards my collective then six of wands Show me more about this masculine's uh, next actions towards my collective. Oof. Four of cups, five of wands. The moon. Man, I don't like this. Look at this. This could be that person from the past that had you. This is the Knight of Wands and the Moon. Like, this is a secret. There's some drama over a hidden third party situation. Somebody was put out. Somebody's business could have been put out in the street, too. That could have been what this Page of Swords, this gossip and this revealing and this secretive energy, that this that Ten of Swords. That could be the reason that why somebody had um i don't know this intention is like there's some drama to it this person i feel like wants to come back towards you they've ended it with somebody else but the five of wands and the three of cups is here i don't like this energy there's drama more than one person involved either a third party or the person that your person was connected to doesn't want your person to come your masculine to come back towards you strength energy why does somebody have to have strength and hold back spirit could be telling you to hold back because you're still healing maybe sagittarius and leo energy here <sighs> looks like to me spirit is telling you to be strong and hold back from the situation here yeah because it's a bunch of drama five of swords somebody here could be hiding that all they want is sex and that they all they want to do here is just play games with this ace of wands and this energy here you see what i'm saying it's it's a no-go <sighs> and this is the energy that you're in i mean you look great this is crazy. This is the energy that Spirit just talked about at the beginning of the reading. Spirit said, rest, right? Four swords, take a break. You've already manifested something. You're moving on to calmer waters. You are moving into your peaceful time. We're here with you. We're rooting you on. We want you to heal. Go travel. Rest, travel. Do your thing. You're in this star energy. Okay, I'm going to hide the car. You're in this star energy, Aquarius energy. You look great. The Empress, this is how you are being viewed. You are healing. Okay, you are sexy. Okay, you are the, you are a hot commodity you city girl you out here city girl and i don't know <laughs> yeah you're gonna know when this person comes back towards you anyway your intuition is gonna tell you i don't trust this person they're playing games they're wearing a mask or whatever you know um when you're manifesting something 
you know, it doesn't mean just because you manifested something doesn't mean that what's going to come towards you, all the options that come towards you are meant for you because they're not. You have to just choose wisely, right? The burden is in the choosing, right? Choosing correctly. One of these has that, that reef, that laurel reef, right? Some pearls, a heart, a rose, a snake, like a hurricane here. Like there, all these options aren't the best for you, but I feel like that's going to be the hard part. The burden is going to be for you to pick the right one, not be confused, pick the right thing to do. I don't know why we're talk still talking about somebody who, like, who cares anyway about this person? Because look at what you look what you have coming in, the wheel of fortune, justice. Yeah, I don't know. It's all good. I love y'all. Okay, you can be dealing with any zodiac sign. I'll see you guys later. Hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if anything resonated here for you. Okay. And what's playing is Blessings by Drake. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry. By Big Sean and, and um, Drake. So guess what? You're way up. You're blessed. I, that's how I feel like where you are. You may not be feeling like it specifically when it comes to love. But just, just wait. It's coming. And detach from it. And go take a girl's trip or a guy's trip or something. And, and just live your best life. Okay. I love you.